We can't believe we made it on Plays of the Week. <laughs> well, believe it, ladies, because if it's spectacular or if it's crazy, we want you to get the point. If it's off the wall, we will definitely show it right here. Speaking of spectacular, how about Junior Ortiz? How about Tom Pagnosi? Here's a strange play for the outs. And who says you can't make a gigantic catch? Wade Boggs certainly hasn't lost its step. So tell me, guys, what do you think of that? Still not impressed? How about this? And the ground ball is short for Marty. He did it. He did it. No hitter for Jim Abbott. Still not impressed. Well, maybe this will wake you up. Maybe Tony Pena has the right idea. Relax, there's more to come. Well, let's not get too relaxed. Or you may miss the point altogether. Some guys were all washed up this week, while others got their game caps on and were ready to play. Gates the middle, play set, maybe. Gates. Oh, what a play by Gates. Back is Pasco to the warning track. He got it. Oh, he almost. Oh, what a play. Holy cow, what a play. Yes, he makes a catch. Let's end this week's plays with a bang. How about a sharp-looking finish just before we say goodbye? Here's a flip that flopped. A flip that flopped. A flip that flopped. Don't laugh, big boy. You could be next, buddy. We call it the Pepsi Plays of the Week. This week we feature dancing rams, falling fans, and a high G. Oh, boy. Now that we have your attention, watch this minute bulls golf swing. A thing of beauty. Watch it again. Head down, cross-handed, ball two feet ahead of you. The follow-through. To football now, and Mark Collins of the Giants with an interception return. He could go all the way. Has the touchdown and bowls over the photographer. How about Steve Young? Check out the scrambling ability of the 49er pivot. After eluding the pressure, he decides to throw a pass to himself inside the five-yard line. Some others weren't quite so fortunate. Webster Slaughter could use some glue on his hands or maybe just bigger hands. Speaking of hands, how about Craig Brenner of Laurier? In the clear, fumbles the ball on the 10-yard line. The ball squirts into the end zone. Western recovers. Back to baseball. Chris Sable spends his off days as a ball boy. Larry Walker spends his offseason styling hair, but he won't get a tip from John Cruck. Rondell White deserves a tip for his game-saving catch, as does Chuck Carr. If you like good defense, don't watch this. Double play ball. There's a backhand play that's nifty. There's one. High throw, and that is going to score one run, maybe two. Going to the third base and coming to the plate, the throw is high, and it scores two. The throw to third is high, and it might score another one. Oh, boy. Time to wrap up this week's plays, but don't fret, Paul. We didn't forget this week's milestone moment. Round ball in the hole. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. The plays of the week are usually like that, but helping to make this blue mud.